So now this is a Radisson, but it was a Stouffer's back then. So we're going to go inside and check it out. Stay tuned. And then go ahead and hit that button on the right-hand side there for me, please. And so we'll take this up to the ninth floor. This is the freight elevator, and we're going to go to the ninth floor. We know for a fact he stayed on the ninth floor. It's well documented. Yes, it is. We know for a fact, yeah. It looks like it. It's similar. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your help. Absolutely. Yeah, Rennie over here is awesome. Yeah, thank you for taking care of this. Of course, absolutely. She must be an Elvis fan. Yeah, she's taking care of business. <laughs> she must like Elvis. It was a really fun conversation, so I was really excited that we were able to do it. Yeah. I was just like, listen, maybe a different date, but I'm glad we can take care of this. I'm like, Missy, listen, we've got him coming in at 10. Let's do this. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, so through here, we're going to end up in housekeeping, the back side of housekeeping. Ninth floor. We're going to head to our left. Okay. So this room was 911, but they changed it to 913 after 911 happened, which would be the largest room on this floor. So his bedroom would have been would either have been one, of these, one of these two. Yes. So this is an adjoining. A lot of times what would happen is he would stay in one. Of course, I can't go through there. We'll have to go through there. We'll have to we go the other way. Can we confirm there's no one in those rooms right now? But what would happen is um, a lot of times Charlie or Vernon would stay in one of the rooms. Elvis would stay in the other room. just like how it was in Montgomery. Yeah. They had a living room and then two bedrooms on either side. And this is like it was in Jacksonville. All of them in Jacksonville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see it's the same thing every hotel. Yeah. They had a plan. And the stairs are literally right across the, That's right. the hall to the left there. Sorry. Oh, oh you're fine. You don't need to be Bathroom here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So she's going to open these doors for us. Oh great! Yeah, I've been talking to Billy for a couple of years, and we were talking today. Because I knew what you did, and I knew there was a lot to show you. Oh, there's a lot here. I mean, we're going to get the uh, Wright Brothers stuff too while we're here. Oh, the Hawthorne Hill. Yeah, we want to get all that. Okay. Yeah. Well, Billy, what do you think, Spock? Man, this is cool. And he definitely was on this floor. This would have definitely been his room. They, yeah. they, this is the only room on this floor that has this kind of a setup in it. Yeah. And two bedrooms. And like I said, you and I have done this so much, man. They all seem uh, similar. Yeah, it, it makes it's yeah. it's a. It's, it's really relaxing setup. for Elvis. Yeah. The guys would hang out in here. Elvis would be yeah. in his bedroom when you know want to get away. Yeah. With Linda or Ginger or whoever. <laughs> girl Hello, the or, or whoever. Mindy, our friend Mindy Miller. All of them. I mean, there's probably some we don't even know about. I guarantee told you. I mean, I, I'm a little jealous of Elvis. I already told you that last night. <laughs> Every picture you see, he has like five girls in the picture with him. All so what floor do you guys stay on? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, we asked to stay on this floor, but they don't have any double beds on this floor. Ah. You know, they don't have like uh, two, two separate beds. It's all kings. Ah, okay. I bet those bad boys were here. Awesome. Ah, Thank you. Welcome. I'll get that side open here. So this is the bedroom, on the corner, which I feel like would probably be Elvis's because he'd have the best view. Of course, they would take this over. 
you know, that's one of the first things Dean and Al and those guys would do is come in here and put a tinfoil on the windows. Right, Dean and them would have tinfoil with these windows already. Yeah. They work right across the street in that building. Really? Yeah. Yep, right there. Oh, that tall building? Yeah. yeah that's cool. But then we can do more of the latches. So, friends, this is Paul, by the way. Hi. So, uh, Paul has helped us. Uh, in fact, you helped set up this particular thing here, talking to these folks and getting us in these rooms. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate it, Paul. Well, you're very welcome. You've been, we mean you've been corresponding for a long time about yeah. coming here. a couple years, yeah. yeah. Big fan of both of you and Man, Jerry. I appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. So the other room would be less windows to cover up with tin pole. So it's probable that this would have been Ellis' room. Because he wouldn't have really done the view, he wouldn't have cared about the view. Here's the bathroom. And this room number would be 909. And then you can see there's even another adjoining room. So we could keep going where they would have, normally he would have Charlie close, but Vernon was with him on some of these trips. Very, very cool. Thank y'all so much for getting Absolutely. us up here. It's our this, pleasure. this is very cool. It's just another piece of that Elvis puzzle. Okay. Okay, not too sure what room it was at the time, but at least I can show you both. Someone's right here. Or I think it would be the opposite, and the reason that I think that is because less windows to put temple over. They'd have had trouble covering these up because of that 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 column in the corner, the windows are on the so outside of the column. This room? I think most likely Elvis would have been in that room. Yeah. Could have been any of them. Yeah, it could have been any. And there's another adjoining room. Do you see that other door? There's actually a third room. He would usually keep his manager at an adjoining room. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so Charlie could have been here, or Vernon could have been here. Charlie could have been over right, there right. in that adjoining room. But he would usually be where they could all congregate in here yeah. and have meetings. And so can we reverse what we just did? Let's reverse what we just did. Let's go from here to the freight elevator, to the next freight elevator, and then go out. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. We're, going to, we're going to reverse it. We're going to walk from the hotel room. Okay. So this would have been ready to do the concert, and we're, we're out. We're Let's heading, go play that. We're heading to get in the car. It ain't no ring. <laughs> I'll take you straight out the back door then, where yes, more than likely the bus would have been parked. That's right. And it would have been a car. A car. But, well, maybe I'm sorry. A, I'm so used to bus. <laughs> well, maybe a bus. Sometimes they would do that. Normally, he was in a car and dating, actually. Yeah. I had a picture of that. Yeah, there's photos of him yeah, in a car. In a car. Dick Dick That's right. With Dick yeah. So, we're going to go through here. Freight elevator, which is going to be here. When somebody's on the elevator, I can hear it. I think somebody's coming to this floor. Someone's going to be here. <laughs> oh, huh? There's like someone's on it. <laughs> so we're going to lobby? Uh, first floor. First, yeah, first yeah, floor. Yes, we'll go first okay. floor. Back through the kitchen. No, I was um, Lewis Powell. Oh, you were Lewis Powell. I'm the one that uh, tried to kill uh, the secretary, secretary of yeah, sewer. So you, did you see it on TV? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Trey's yeah. an, a professional actor, so you'll see him in in shows, in TV shows. This guy. I've been trying to find it again. I haven't been able to find it. Again. That's what he's talking about. He, he played Seward where he tried to kill the Secretary of State I'm be taking when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. I'll, I'll ask the reaper. This is where uh, Trump's uh, victory party was in 2016 or 20. Yeah, it was. Victory party? Yeah, right in the middle of the room right there. I'm not going to deny it. It's true. I'm not going to deny it. I Through the kitchen. I think we were here. Yep. So lobby, basement, lobby. Uh, lobby L. Okay. So this takes us out the back door.
tell it's original with the building. It is. <laughs> it's yes, it is. definitely original with the but building. But hey, original's great. You know, they're tearing so many things down. We were just in Cincinnati. He stayed at Stouffer's there and they're tearing down. Oh, it's in the middle of being torn down right now. Oh, no. So luckily we were able to capture it before. So right out here, into the car, boom, gone. That's how Elvis rolled. Yep. Dane Unit Arena would be that yep. way, I'm sure. So friends, this is the University of Dayton Arena. Elvis played here three times. And we got, when we were at the other place, the nice man that worked there for 34 years gave us his card and told us to go to the Connor Lobby. So we're gonna go in and see if we have any luck. Paul, that's with us today, has been calling for a couple of weeks. He's an alum here. And so far, they have not been very forthcoming, very helpful. He even gave, uh, left a message on the guy that's supposed to be the athletic director's phone, never got a return call. So we're gonna go in here and see if they'll just let us walk in. If we don't get in, no big deal, because uh, there's really no photos of Elvis in here, except for close up. There's nothing in here that we can identify that would cross over. Uh, I wish it would, but sadly it's not there. So we're gonna go see, stay tuned. So just so you know, we go to one place and the people are so nice, they have welcomed us in, and then we go to another place and literally, really there's no story here because there's no real photos of Elvis here that you can make out anything in the building. And they just literally refuse to let us on, let us in. So, too bad for you, Dayton, Dayton Arena. And uh, the guys over at the other place, fantastic. Thank you so much. And Dayton Arena, just too bad. You saw Elvis here inside the arena in 1976? Yes, I did. Tell us about the show, man. Oh, it, it was great. I can't say I was an Elvis fan until then, but the picture I showed you earlier of me doing him, that was right around that time. So we found out October 26, 1976. I remember the date. I said, I want to go and see what this all, it's all about. So my dad and I went. Uh, we sat toward the top of the arena. But the funny thing about that, the interesting thing about it, is I snuck in a tape recorder and I have the whole concert on cassette tape. Wow. Yeah. Will yeah. you will you let us use like a little snippet of it for our show, for the show? Well, sure, sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I actually, I'm not sure where that is, but I actually found online about 10 years ago a bootleg copy of the same concert. And I have that. So, yeah. yes, you can use that. I don't know if you can get it by the censors anyway. You could try yeah, and there's also video of it uh, on YouTube. It's like two and a half songs is all it is, but it's actually him at the concert I was at, and it was real exciting. Uh, I mean, I've never seen a performer like Elvis Presley. That's when I became a bona fide fan, and I've been a fan for over 40 years. Yeah. But well, what stands him? out from that show? Uh, his charisma, I think, and the songs he did. And you, you heard so much about him, but I'm like, you know, What's the big deal? Well, I saw what the big deal is. Somebody said, I think in a film, uh, that's the way it is. When he said, nobody, nobody could be that good. Well, he's that good. What was your <laughs> favorite song that day? Oh, I've always liked Hound Dog, but live, I like Suspicious Minds. But I'm not sure he did it that night. I don't remember if he did it, but I love Suspicious Minds. Mm -hmm. But he live. played this, or he played the date in Arena 72, 74, Four. and 76. 76, right. right. My Good wife time. was at the 74 concert and at the 76. That was before I knew her. Well, I wish they would have let us go inside so we I could do tell too. the story. I, you know? I do, too. And the, see, the sad part is, is you really reached out and tried. Their excuse was lame. You know, the basketball team may show up at any minute. That's not and true. I'm like, guys, we, we walk on this, the thing. It takes five minutes. Hey, Billy, They're just being butts. That's, that's not all. true. I played college basketball, and they would know when we practice. That's right. We, we don't be popping up practice. They're just being five. turds. That's I mean, all. I've been calling them for over two weeks, yeah. and I get the same answer. Yeah, so the people here at the Dayton Arena are turds. The people over at the field house are very, very nice. Yes, they were. Yeah. Yes, they were. Yeah. So, so Dayton Arena turds, field house, one. Dayton Arena O. Oh, Fieldhouse one. How about that? <laughs> and you're an alumni to this college. Know, on top of that, I know. you went to this college. You're an alum, yes. and they still wouldn't let us in. I even graduated. Yeah. In that so these state. people are just butts. That's that's the bottom line. No reason other than just being butts. 
So friends, Paul says when you go through that door right there, there's a ramp that goes down. And here's a photo of Elvis leaving here. You see him wearing the suit. And you see that post in the back. That looks like that could be one of these posts. It does match these posts. You can see it, but there's really nothing else in the photo that matches up. I'll get him to send me this picture. But other than that, there's really nothing that we can make out. But this is definitely where they would have gone in. Now, this looks like it's an addition to me. What I assume is, what I assume is they drive in one of these right here on the back yeah. of the building. Yeah, and it may be that, where, does the ramp turn, Paul? Yeah, it turns. See? Okay, so the, okay, so the ramp would have normally been probably this way. Yeah. And so, so like where that back door is, probably the ramp goes beyond that. So that would have been the back door at the time. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So friends, I think this door, this is new. But if you look, if you can imagine them coming out of the this door when it was further up, and then you can see the bottom of the back of the building. So I think they actually came out of this side of the building. But it's been added on to, they would have been kind of under down in there. But I think they were on this side. Maybe. And then in the distance, you could see maybe that post right there. Yeah. So if they were making a turn, you would see that and you would see that post right there. I think they came right out here. Maybe. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.